these things don't just happen. They, they have drivers behind them. And those drivers are people's spirits because it's all volunteers that do this work. So it's a wonderful thing. In our time being there, we've done a solar project, we've redone our rink, we've done uh, a new um, spray deck in our community league. It wasn't just solar panels. We replaced our furnaces, we replaced hot water tanks, we replaced lighting, both inside and out. So all of our lighting for our rink and for our tennis courts and our main hall are all LED lighting, so low energy. We had four grants that totaled around $164,000. And this was one of the only times and that I've ever heard of that our community league paid zero dollars. When we put energy back into the grid, that energy doesn't really go to like a central station, it goes back out into the grid and it goes to the homes in our neighborhood. But that energy, which is basically free for us, is now a de facto fundraiser. So we figure we're saving about $30,000 a year. We were about to launch um, our fundraising for our permanent skating rink during the, the week of the lockdown. So we had to quickly uh, not do that uh, and pull back, but we started in May uh, and for in three weeks we raised $60,000 and we're actually able to build our permanent outdoor skating rink in Cameron Heights. What we did is we actually did it by email campaign and we uh, sent out to all of our memberships. We did our Facebook, we did uh, social media and we really talked to everybody that we could uh, via phone because normally we would be door knocking because normally what we would do is we would collect cash at two of our bigger events, but of course we weren't able to do any of that during the pandemic. So it's really pushed us forward in terms of modernization. We were sitting at one of our board meetings and I was really frustrated with all these emails. I lost my card. I didn't get the email from the online purchase. Um, so how do I get my membership now? And so it was just so much of that that I said at the meeting, I'm like, you know, there's got to be a better way to do this. We have to, like, why isn't there an app? So people have their membership card on their phone at all times, they can just log in and view it. And so what we did was we built an app. So a lot of the times our membership sales are through cash on the doorstep. So somebody will leave cash, somebody will go and um, leave skate tags in a membership. Um, but we've actually tried to increase our membership by a, a community app. So it's, a, it's an app that is free for all community leagues to use. Uh, and so we actually were selling, we sold quite a bit of memberships on our app and we really hope to continue to push that um, so that people can still feel engaged without having to change cash via hand. The amount of work that it takes to actually get these projects going is fairly immense. So you have to have a champion. So I would say as long as there's support for these projects, you need to move full steam ahead. And I wouldn't say that just about um, solar power projects, I would say that about any project. That's the driving force of what makes community projects so valuable, is you have people that care about them. And if you have somebody that cares about a project, they're gonna see it through.